Andre, you guys tied it at 40 on that Dwayne Dunk, and then it, it got really tight, and obviously they pulled away. What, what changed from that point on? You guys seemed to have some momentum, and then they just kind of answered. Um, I mean, we just couldn't get stops. We just kind of just back and forth there for a while. When you're down, you can't go back and forth there get stops. Offensively, how are they different than the last time you guys played them? Um, they hit, they definitely hit more shots than the first time. I mean, it was really a few things. They were able to see the first stops. Under, can you just describe, I guess, the, the difficulty in, in trying to execute any kind of offense against a team that, that plays the way that Illinois does? Uh, I mean, it's real tough. I mean, they're always in the passing lanes. It's hard to reverse the ball and kind of get to the other side, and that's kind of what we kind of predicate our offense on. So it was hard for us to get our offense. Uh, have you been paying attention to the other Big Ten teams out there? It seems like this happens every night. Uh, what do you think about this conference this year and this winter? Uh, has they just beat Michigan? Yeah, I mean, it's a tough conference. I mean, every, every night you can get beat if you don't show up. We came out tonight and we weren't prepared. And that's on me and us older guys. We didn't get the younger guys prepared. And that's, that's what happens. That's how you get beat. Uh, what goes on from here? I mean, you know, tomorrow in practice, I mean, what do you guys do after the situation? I get back to work. I mean, it doesn't get any easier. We got Michigan State at Michigan State, so it doesn't get any easier. We got to go to work, go back to work. Andrew, you guys have had some tough losses at times this season. Does this one ring any differently, or do all losses feel the same to you? Um, I mean, all losses hurt, but uh, I mean, this one, this one, we needed to have. And for us not to be prepared, that's on me and us older guys. It can't happen. In what way do you think you guys weren't prepared? Uh, it's just what happened. I mean, we just didn't get stopped. We weren't prepared for how hard they play. And that's just something that me and us older guys have got to keep building on and let the younger guys know. Is it, do you think when you say not prepared, is that looking past them? I mean, you mentioned the Michigan State game already. Or you know, I, I guess can you explain beyond you know, why you think you weren't prepared? Uh, I mean, I'm, that's something we got to figure out. I mean, we, we weren't looking ahead. I mean, this is a good team. They came in. They won four straight. We are nobody looking ahead. This is a real good team. We just didn't, we didn't prepare right. That's on me. Uh, it seemed like as the game went on, you guys got a little bit better taking care of the ball. I know that was obviously a big issue for a while. Do you feel you guys figured out something offensively that you stopped turning the ball over late? Uh, yeah, we kind of just tried to keep it more simple, just more high ball screens and kind of just play off that. And I think keeping it more simple, that would need a lot of turnovers. Offensively, do you think you guys got the shots that you wanted to get for the most part? Yeah, I mean, we got good looks. We got a lot of looks at the basket right there. We just got to convert them, and we did. I already said this was one that you had to have. Why did you feel that way? I mean, we were 500. I mean, we should have tried to make the NCAA tournament. We're not a lot. So any game we play, we got to have right now. How much do you guys look at that? How much do you pay attention to things like a NCAA tournament right now? I mean, you play, I mean, obviously you pay attention to it a little bit. I mean, that's the end goal. But we're still trying to focus game by game. But everybody looks at that. That's the end goal. Thanks, Ray. Thanks, Andrew. Thanks.